There is no faster way to grow your sales on Amazon than this one hack, and I cannot emphasize this enough. It's your main image. I'll show you, let me, let me give you the proof here. So right here, I ran an A-B test, and this is on the right, the original image, and on the left, the new image. Now, all of you already know A on the left is going to win, but here's the thing. How much does it win by? Check this out. It is an incredible landslide. The amount of people who will more likely click on this product, right? We didn't change the packaging. We didn't change what the item is. Nope. We just slapped on age six to 12, tried to show an inside of the journal book page, and we wrote in big lettering, kids journal. Why? Because the embossed lettering is impossible to read when you go to an Amazon page. And let's just go ahead and do that. And I'll showcase this. Right, so this is over in the UK product. We're going to type in uh, happy self journal. And as you can see from the search results here, it's not very easy to read that. You don't know what it is. You don't know this is for kids, right? When you look at a regular journal, there pretty much isn't any difference between this and a random journal on Amazon. Not a lot of reasons to go ahead and click on it if you're trying to get a journal for your six-year-old child, right? Well, that's why I went ahead and redesigned this for a friend. I wanted to show them how much of an impact this is going to make. So this is the, we just made this image. It's hot, fresh off the presses. The A-B test isn't even finished running. We still have a couple more votes to collect, but I already knew what the results were going to be. And a couple of weeks from now, what I fully expect to happen is the CTR and the traffic just to go through from the land site. And why do I know this? Because I've done this hundreds of times. This is part of where you get your extra clicks in what I call the ICAP marketing funnel. So ICAP standing for impressions, clicks, add to carts, and purchases. And if you don't have a good CTR, your click-through rate, your clicks are going to be low which means you get less traffic. If you have a 20% conversion rate, but your CTR rate is 3%, guess what? You're dead in the water. Your traffic is weak. It's not good enough. I have given use case after use case, video after video. You can see all of the content that I've made on this topic, and people are still ignoring. The easiest way to grow your sales is by changing your main image and focusing on your market share. We do this as part of SEO phase four. Here's a use case where I did this um, for a keyword called sage candles for cleansing house on an ASIN uh, where I had some smudge sticks. I'll show that to you right here. Here are the smudge sticks, over a thousand reviews on this. And we made one change on focusing on this keyword. And we did this after looking at the brand analytics search query performance report. You can do this yourself. You can go look at your brand here. So my HSH brand go week to week, come in here and look at the data. And what do you see? Sage candles for cleansing house. This is still the most important keyword according to Amazon, trying to get me to spend more time and focus on this. Now this keyword changes week to week. You can see all of the week's data by going week to week like this. And right now I have a 4% impression share, but check this out. I have over 12% of all of the clicks, which means this is still a great opportunity for me to continue to focus on. And the search volume went up to 3,500. Search volume is going up right now. If we went back several months, we would see that dip down. So this is real data. The actual number of people who are looking at this data each and every week. Now, let's go back to this main image issue again. So the consumers need to know what they're clicking on before they click on it. You need to tell and educate the consumer so that when somebody searches on Amazon and they go, let's go to Amazon.com. We're just going to type in journal for kids, right? And we look at this and what do we see? We see three minute gratitude journal. Do you see how big that text is on there? Gratitude journal. You see all these things where you know it's absolutely for kids. And then you see something like this and you're like, big, big life. I can't even read that. It's too small, right? That's the problem a lot of main images have. They don't put the text that's gigantic straight on there. So you know, this is for me, right? Like that clearly is for a kid. You can totally tell. Embossed lettering like this, happy self, what does that say? I don't know. I don't know. That's the problem. And so that's what we're trying to work on and improve and fix. And then after you do that, you can monitor the results and see how much of an impact did this make. You don't need to run an A-B test in Seller Central and wait six weeks to make a decision. Just use the best practices we talk about in this channel 
and then measure it in an hour. Run a pig food test like this. Go to pickfoodcom slash my Amazon guy to get 50% off. And you can also buy me a Chipotle burrito every time you run a pig food test. Then build out your new image and come into the search create performance report, go to your data. You can actually now go to the ASIN view and you can look up each ASIN and look at the reporting range and pick and figure out what makes the most sense. And then watch as your clicks just go through the roof or maybe you made a bad decision and it goes down. Well, guess what? You now have live data essentially week to week and you can go in and make these tweaks to your listings and it's Q4 guys. It's Q4 and we got to make changes because we need those sales because sales are weak right now. You need the sales. You need to make these changes and you need to focus on your main image. If you spent 10 hours this week working on your main image, would that be time well spent? 100% absolutely. You need to spend more time working on your main image. You need to spend more time on the search query performance report. We only talked about one angle today and that was the C in your eye cap, right? I feel like Yankee Doodle putting a macaroni cap pen thing. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But ICAP, impressions, clicks, add to carts and purchases. Figure out which one of those four you have a problem with today. Look at your search query performance report and see where does it dip? Where am I losing my market share? Maybe you got 5% on impression share, but then it goes down to 2% on clicks. That's a main image problem every single time. If the dip is on the clicks, it's a main image problem. You get through the ICAP, ICAP, impressions, clicks, add to carts would be next. Maybe your 5% impressions and 5% clicks goes down to a 1% on add to carts. That is a conversion problem. You need to go fix the listing. The consumer is not the right consumer. They don't feel like they have the right product. Similarly, the actual purchases. Now, what's really interesting though, is if you lose them at the purchase level and you had them at the add to cart, let's say it was 555 going into add to carts, but then it gets to 1% on purchases. That means people are adding it to their cart and then abandoning it before they actually pull the trigger and make that purchase, that means they have high levels of anxiety and they're bailing and purchasing your, con your competitor's product. And so you have to figure out why do they have anxiety? What is it about my unit? What is it about my SKU, my product, that they don't feel comfortable executing that purchase? Figure that out because once you crack that code, your sales are gonna go up. All right. You've heard me talk about the clicks today. If you want to hear me talk about more about the ICAP marketing funnel, watch these videos next. There's a lot of juicy stuff in there.